गुड इवनिंग स्टूडेंट्स आई एम मिसेस पार्वती पीजीटी फिजिक्स होली हार्ट्स एजुकेशन एकेडमी रायपुर छत्तीसगढ़ टुडे आई वुड लाइक टू डू वन ऑफ द एप्लीकेशन ऑफ गास लॉ राइट बिफोर वी स्टार्ट द एप्लीकेशंस वी शुड नो व्हाट डू यू मीन बाय गासियन सरफेस इट इज एन हाइपोथेटिकल सरफेस इमेजिनरी सरफेस व्हिच इमेजिनरी सरफेस which flux of vector fields is calculated in which vector field is calculated right so what are the properties of gaussian surface you have to remember very nicely there are three points number one is the charge distributed along the surface or line charge or sigma or uh, rho volume charge density is symmetric completely symmetric that is uniform uniformly distributed second is at in every point on the surface e is constant that is e is uniform and third is very important point electric field lines must be perpendicular to the surface so that is why we have already studied in gas law the value of theta is angle between electric field and the normal drawn to the surface vector it is always zero theta value is zero that means the electric field and the normal drawn to the surface are parallel to each other that is the value of theta is zero cos zero is one we take whenever we apply the gauss theorem so if i say imagine a gaussian surface it means that e is constant at every point and second is the value of theta is zero that is angle between e and normal is zero right so let us start the first application uh, to find out the electric field intensity at a point due to a linear charge having the linear charge density lambda so consider a linear charge density a linear charge this is a linear charge i think you are getting it the charge is distributed linearly along the wire long straight of infinite length uniformly charged wire i have considered this one right i want to calculate the electric field at a point p here right what do you mean we have to imagine a plus 1 coulomb charge as usual and consider a gaussian cylinder whose radius is r whose radius is r you see here this is the radius r this is the radius r gaussian cylinder r and like this we imagine the hypothetical surface gaussian surface you know just now we have studied the gaussian surface properties e is constant at every point on the surface and theta value is zero that is e is perpendicular to the surface or the angle between normal to the surface and e is zero right so the e direction of electric field is like this away from this one and this is the r we have already done okay so first let us calculate the flux how many surfaces it has got three how can how it, it can be i'll show you just a model right the model is see this this is the line charge i'll show you this is the line charge yeah the pen is line charge right having the charge and this circle is gaussian cylinder how many surfaces it has got gaussian cylinder three what are they this is the curved surface one and second is one surface on the top and third is down surface this is circular this is curved surface and this is a third surface three surfaces so we have to calculate the three surfaces flux the first surface is like this upward and this is the spherical this is what circle you know that electric field is like this and the uh, area vector is like this what is the angle between n and e 90 degrees so flux along first surface phi1 is 0 yes phi1 is 0 got it now come to the second surface second surface normal is downward 
and the electric field is like this again the angle between e and normal is 90 so flux due to the second surface is also zero so only the third surface is left this is the curved surface that is we are going to calculate the flux so phi 3 is equal to e dot ds that is equal to what e is constant so you take out outside e ds cos theta you know theta is zero so e ds e you take outside and integral ds what is integral ds do you know the formula of curved surface of cylinder yes sure 2 pi r l where r is the radius and l is the length of the gaussian cylinder right so let us substitute the values here we write e into 2 pi r l is the flux along the third surface here that only exist now according to gauss theorem we write integral d closed surface e dot ds is equal to q by epsilon not what is q q is equal to lambda l we have already defined lambda linear charge density is defined as the charge per unit length so lambda is equal to q by l or q is equal to lambda into l upon epsilon not is clear now what is integral e dot ds just now we have calculated no e into 2 pi r l is equal to lambda l upon epsilon not l and l gets cancelled so we get e is equal to lambda by 2 pi epsilon not r if you want to write in vector form we will write the unit vector r this is the magnitude lambda by 2 epsilon not r is a magnitude and r is the unit vector that is e is inversely proportional to r so try to plot the graph between e and r due to your line charge right and based on this formula please solve the problems given in ncert exercise bye bye see you